Hey, I'm Dorian, joined by my wife and celebrity menswear stylist, Ashley Weston. Hey guys. Fellas, today we are talking about a minimalist capsule summer wardrobe. And we've never done anything like this before, so if you wanna see more of this per season, let us know in the comment section below. But this is gonna be amazing because we put together something that basically is impossible to mess up. Right, Ash? <laughs> yes, but every item, every color, it's all gonna to go together. You literally just choose a top, choose a bottom, choose a shoe, you're set. But before we get into that, if you have not been following us on Instagram, you are missing out. We post daily outfit inspiration photos and we've got a ton of great summer outfits that we're posting right now. So definitely follow us. And if you have any questions at all, shoot us a text or email infos on the screen. Okay, so real briefly, before we get into it, you have to know we've done a video and an article about every single one of these items on this list. So search the channel or the website for that, and as well as a, an entire fit guide series about every single one of these items and how they should fit your body type, regardless of your age. So remember that, let's go. So first up, you wanna get two pairs of chino pants in navy and tan. So Ash, why specifically navy and tan? So these two colors are gonna go with everything else in this wardrobe and they complement every man and every skin color out there. So it's always going to work no matter what. And these are basically the quintessential summer colors. You can never go wrong when you're wearing them. Next, you wanna get two polo shirts or t-shirts in either navy or gray. So like navy- this kind of gray, right? Yeah, like this kind of gray. Like a so heather gray. Navy and gray, either in a polo shirt or t-shirt form, is gonna look fantastic because it'll pair perfectly with your chino pants and with everything else that we're about to discuss, but they're just super breathable, appropriate for the summer months, and they look great. And Ash, so would a guy go with a polo over a t-shirt? Tell the guys real quick why. I mean, it just depends. I, I would say the older you are, definitely skew more towards the polo shirt. It's just there is a, just a more more polished, I would say, that you kind of need to complement your age. But that doesn't mean young guys can't wear them either. No. So they look good on everyone. That's why we're recommending them. And speaking of shirts, you also want two long sleeve linen shirts in white and light blue. So Ash, why specifically long sleeve over short sleeve now? Well, long sleeve, I mean, you can wear it long so that it could provide you a little bit more of sun protection, but then you can roll up the sleeves either up to your mid arm, like mid forearm, or even a little bit higher so you can get that more short sleeve look as well. So they're just super versatile and that's why you'd go with a long sleeve here. And I mean, I just, I love them because again, they're just really breathable and especially if you live in a humid climate, they are perfect. Next. I definitely recommend one pair of white, or if that's not your thing, then you can go with a blue lace-up low top sneaker, either in leather or canvas. We love Vans, Converse. I mean, they're all great options. This is gonna be your go-to casual shoe that's just gonna complement all of your casual outfits that you're wearing. And you'll definitely wanna add a dark brown woven belt, either in leather or a fabric, kind of like a canvas material. Doesn't matter, either or works. But these types of belts are just fantastic, especially when you wanna do a half tuck of your shirt, so a little bit of the belt is exposed. Again, just adds a very smart and stylish touch to your outfit. And Ash, for the guys out there, would you go with a gold or a silver buckle on this belt? I would err more on the side of silver just because that tends to complement the other Universal. metals. Yeah, that you have maybe already existing in your wardrobe. And this next item will cover you for any time that you might have to have more of a formal outfit. And so that's why it's essential to have a driving mock or a loafer. So we highly recommend then a dark brown penny loafer, or you can do like a dark brown suede driving mock. Both of these types of shoes will definitely add a polish and formality to your outfits. You know, when sneakers wouldn't quite be so appropriate, pop on these and that'll get you covered for that occasion. And Ash, if they do have a little more of a formal occasion, what type of jacket should they wear over, you know, some of these other items that they have? Yeah, so you already have your chinos, you've got a polo shirt or even a light linen. or a linen you know, Collar dress shirt, shirt. Yep. yep, exactly. And then you've got your loafer. So to complete your more formal
formal summer outfit. You definitely want to pick up a lightweight blazer. Highly recommend getting it in either a medium blue or a navy blazer. That's going to complement everything that you already have so far that we've recommended. If you go a little too light blue on that, it could look a little odd and maybe not play as well with all your other items. So listen to Ash, go with a medium or a navy blue blazer in this scenario. And since you are going to be wearing loafers and even with your sneakers, I highly recommend you pick up some no-show socks. Specifically, I recommend it in navy. Yeah, if you had to choose one color, it'd be yeah, navy, right? Navy, it's just, I mean, it's never going to look dingy. It's going to blend in for the most part with your outfit. But a no-show sock is fantastic because it allows you to expose a little bit of ankle in case you want to cuff your chinos. Um, and that, or if you're wearing shorts and sneakers. Yeah, and yeah, if you and if you're wearing shorts or sneakers, yes, a no-show so sock is just fantastic. It keeps your feet comfortable and dry when you're wearing shoes. And digging more a little bit into accessories here, Ash, the guy should probably pick up a NATO or Perlon strap for their watch, but in what color? So we've been talking a lot about with your shoes and your belt in terms of getting it in a dark chocolate brown. So definitely pick up a chocolate brown watch strap. And then we also recommend a navy watch strap when you wanna do a navy or shades of blue kind of outfit. I mean, these two colors will get you covered 100% of the time with any combination of what we've recommended so far. If I can add one note, do not get royal blue. That is a very kind of bright color and it doesn't exactly pair well with other navy colors. Navy is a kind of specific color, so definitely pick up navy over royal blue because it's a little just too bright and it seems a little odd. And we definitely want to include some hats in here. This is a minimalist capsule wardrobe, but I mean, you need sun protection and sometimes you just want to add a cool, like stylish touch to your outfits. Which or, is or if you've got a shaved head or you've got balding or your bald hair, this is gonna be a lot more critical than not. So pick up a navy baseball cap and a straw Panama hat. Now your straw Panama hat, you're gonna wear this more with your I would Smart, say, casual, and yeah, up outfit. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then with your baseball caps, that's more of a like straight up a, casual, straight up casual look. So definitely pick up those two types of hats for a little sun protection. Now, no summer minimalist capsule wardrobe would be complete if we did not include tortoise shell sunglasses. And Ash, why tortoise shell specifically? Because that is a very specific thing to grab. So this color of sunglasses will literally go with anything that you're gonna be wearing during these warmer months, which is why we highly, highly recommend it. And also it just complements every skin color out there. It looks great on every man. So moving on to shorts, you wanna pick up some navy chino shorts as well as navy swim trunks. Now. If you're like me, you will not be picking up the navy chino shorts because I just don't think they look great. That's a personal opinion. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. But sneakers are just fantastic because... Because they're sneakers. And a straw Panama... Hat. <laughs>